Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Here with Mike Shady again. Mike Flanagan here with you. And today, Mike's going to get into what you call your favorite drill of all time. You know, the, the great thing about any sport is you take the technique you're trying to build in your game and you want to segment it into a drill. There's just too many components from start to finish. Try to fix it through your full approach. And the best drill, I call it the granddaddy of all drills, is the one-step drill. And we're going to look at three different one-step drills. We're going to look at the traditional one-step drill, the, the, sta the staggered, the swinging one-step drill, and then the loaded up one-step drill. And these drills, if you go back to why I had success at the USBCs was get physically sharp. This drill here was the main drill I would work on in my practice sessions, and I call it the best drill, the granddaddy drill. We're going to show our players how to put it into their game so they can improve their game as well. And you may have heard of the one-step drill before. Coach Shady's going to show you three different ways to be able to do this and the proper way to execute a one-step drill. Today I have Heather here for this one-step drill. We're going to get our heels on the fall line. We're just going to take two normal walking steps, one, two. Now this is going to be your starting spot for this drill. Heather's going to get into her setup position. She's going to go through a full swing. When she gets to the swing right to the top of the apex, that's when the transition happens. The slide, her final step will be a slide. She's going to release the ball, maintain balance, and she's going to have ball speed, about half the ball speed, about 50%. That's the proper way on how to do a one-step drill. Now we're going to go to two other versions of a one-step drill next. So the second version of this one-step drill, I call it the swinging one-step drill. Really works well with bowlers that have a lot of effort in their swing. What we're going to do is Heather's going to swing it a couple times. She's really going to get that swing feeling real free and loose. And then again, when it gets top to the apex, she's going to take that final step, which is the slide, and she's going to release the ball. That was really well done. Notice how she got that ball swinging, a couple free swings. She had her final step, which was a slide, maintained balance. Ball speed was about 50% very well executed. So the final one-step drill I want to talk about is called the loaded up one-step drill. This is one of my favorite drills. Now Heather's going to get into the finish position. She's going to get her right foot in front. She's going to get a little bit vertical tilt with her shoulders. She's going to get her non-bowling arm thumb out in front. She's going to swing it two or three times. Notice how low and how much flex she has in her legs. She's loaded up. Heather's going to swing two times release it, maintain balance, and really get herself in a powerful position at the bottom. That was very well executed. Notice how she really demonstrated what it looks like to be in a pivot. She went forward, used her legs, really well done. A lot of information again, Mike. Thanks for sharing it with us. You know, I've done one-step drills before in the past in college and whatnot. Never really saw that loaded up one, and uh, I learned a lot from you today. Well, those those three different types of one-steps are a great drills to become a better player, but that loaded up one, the reason I like that so much is literally you're at your pivot step, your power step, and you got the same body position, and you can emulate and really work on that slide and the release and lower upper body so loaded up the loaded up is great as long as the other two as well so let's figure it out folks go home try all three see which one you like try it for three months try it for six months switch it up try the one-step drill and you will for sure get better at bowling Hey guys, Shady is the best, isn't he? We are so blessed to have him here on our Inside Bowling YouTube channel. If you did get something from this video today, please, please, please give us a like below. And if you want to find out about more tips, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And head over to our merch shop on InsideBowling.com to help support the channel and allow us to do more things like this. And you can save 15% off our merch with coupon code YouTube. We'll see you on the next one.